you know? So it's nice. Here's some updates, though. This is cool. Reporter, if you lived in the area, would you feel comfortable moving back into your home? I love Mike DeWine, by the way. He's such a comical-looking person. If you were to live in the area, would you feel comfortable moving back into your home? Let me take the first part. <laughs> Look, look I, I think that I would be drinking the bottled water um, and I would be continuing to uh, um, find out what the tests were showing as far as the air. Um, I would be alert and, and concerned, but uh, I think I would probably be back in my house. No government official should look like that. Just saying. Just cartoonish looking motherfucker. Pete Buttigieg finally talked about it last night. Said, I continue to be concerned about the impacts of the February 3 train derailment near East Palestine, Ohio, and the effects on families in the 10 days since their lives were upended through no fault of their own. It's important that families have access to useful and accurate information. The U.S. Department of Transportation has been supporting the investigation led by the National Transportation Safety Board. Our Federal Rail Administration and Pipelines and Hazardous Material teams were on site within hours of the initial incident, and continue to be actively engaged. We will look to these investigations and result and the investigation results and based on them, use all relevant authorities to ensure accountability and continue to support safety. I can't believe he tweeted about this now. Like this is a day of tweet. Twenty hours ago, meaning, like it took him almost fucking two weeks, a week and change for him to even say anything about it. What the fuck? In the meantime, our federal partners at the EPA are on site and monitoring indoor and outdoor air quality to test for VOCs and other chemicals of concern. EPA screened 291 homes and no detections were identified and 181 homes remain. To request screening, call the number. Like, I don't get it. Like, Lizzo didn't have to tweet about this for Pete Buttigieg to finally fucking say something about it. You know what I mean? J.D. Vance tweeted about this 10 days after. Brother, you are, oh my God, that's even worse than Pete Buttigieg. Bro, you are literally, like, you have one job, man. This is your fucking job. What the fuck? Was that a gay joke? What? What did I say? No. No. What could I have said that would have been a gay joke? I think the Lizzo thing. No, that has nothing to do with being. That's not. That doesn't. Wait, what is Lizzo synonymous with being gay? No, you fucking idiot. I'm talking about Lizzo because she did tweet about it. And Lizzo is like, you know, a figure in the Democratic Party that, like, everybody loves, you know? Every, every like, liberal loves Lizzo. She's a major celebrity. And only when, like, you know, major celebrities uh, tweet about this shit uh, do the, the representatives and other people in positions of power finally, like, start saying stuff.
The first thing a politician does when a disaster happens is definitely not Twitter. You guys must miss Trump. I don't know. You are a delusional puppet and a bootlicker if you think that a press release to offer assurances to your constituents is just Twitter. How brain broken are you? A press release that comes 10 days later after a fucking catastrophe implies that you couldn't even do the fucking bare minimum for 10 fucking days. 10 days, man. 10 days. Now, ultimately, the, the chemical uh, or the toxic pollutants and its long-term consequences might not even be as bad, but it doesn't fucking matter. Like, at that point, the fact that these people have not said anything and haven't done anything implies how normal they foresee this, how normal they uh, believe this actually is. That, like, they didn't even think about it. They didn't even consider it. And it is. It is normal. You need to understand how fucking normal this is. That's why when I mentioned it, people are shocked. Speaking of another thing that's normal, like, unidentified objects... Uh, flow.